Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is we will solve equations transformable to quadratic equations. So, we will give overview kung ano ba yung mismong topic natin ngayon. Uh, we will encounter equations pero hindi siya in the form of quadratic. Ang gagawin natin, itatransform natin siya bilang quadratic equations. So, ano ba yung objective ng mismong lesson na to? At the end of the lesson, you should be able to solve equations transformable to quadratic equations. From our recent videos, meron tayong mga topic ng methods of solving quadratic equations like extracting the roots, factoring, completing the square, and using quadratic formula. Yung apat na yun ay baka magamit natin in solving this kind of equations na may encounter natin. So let's have the first example. We have here, solve the equation x to the 4th power minus 5x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. As you can see, this kind of equation is not a quadratic equation. Bakit? Based the definition natin ng isang quadratic equation, the degree of the equation, if the degree of the equation is 2, automatic, that equation is a quadratic equation. Pero dito, the exponent or the degree of this equation is equal to 4. So, paano ba natin gagawin to Or how are we going to solve this kind of equation? First thing na kailangan natin gawin is to transform this equation into a quadratic equation. So, paano ba ginagawa yun? So, let's have here the first step. Ang first step natin is you need to use a variable to represent a part of this equation. Let's say, for example, we will let u let u be equal to x squared. So, pwede kayong gamit ang ibang variable to represent x squared. Pero sa akin kasi, in my case, I'm used to use letter u. So, if u is equal to x squared, we can rewrite this equation as u squared minus 5u plus 4 is equal to 0. So, explain ko lang bakit naging ganito equation natin. So, x to the 4th power natin, we have here two pieces of x squared. So, ang magiging equivalent nun is u squared. And then, u minus 5 x squared natin is directly magiging u. Kasi nga, yung u natin is equal to x squared. Plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, since this equation is already in quadratic form, pwede natin gamitin yung alin sa apat na method na binanggit ko kanina in solving quadratic equations. So dito, sa case na to, isipin nyo mabuti, alin yung pinaka magandang gamitin? Is it the extracting the roots? Solving quadratic equations? Completing the square? O yung paggamit ng quadratic formula? Sa akin, kung i-observe ko tong equation na to, I can use factoring. Why? Um, kasi yun yung appropriate. Hindi, hindi na natin kailangan po pahirapin sa sarili natin. So, in factoring out this, ano, this kind of equation, I can factor out this as u minus 4 and then u minus 1 is equal to 0. Negative 4 times negative 1 is equal to 4. So, I think that's correct. And then, using zero product property, we can equate each factor by 0. We have u minus 4 is equal to 0. And then the other factor is u minus 1 is equal to 0. And then solve for u. u is equal to 4. And on the other side, we have u is equal to 1. Pero, uh, sir, ang sagot na ba natin or ang solution set na ba natin is 4 and 1? No. Kasi, ibabalik natin siya. Since from... The start, we let u as x squared, i-reverse naman natin. Yung u natin, gawin natin x squared. We have x squared. Again, u is equal to x squared. So we can replace u bilang x squared. And then equal to 4. So we have x squared is equal to 4. And to solve for, to solve for x, extract natin yung square root. We have here x is equal to, don't forget the positive and negative, 2. So, your x is equal to positive negative 2. And on the other side, ganun din ang gagawin natin. Your u is equal to x squared. 
is equal to 1. And then extracting the square root, your x is equal to positive negative 1. So, ngay, anong ibig sabihin niyan? If you have this kind of answer, na may value ka na ng x, pwede niyo sabihin that the solution set is positive negative 1, comma, positive negative 2. Ganun lang kasimple. So again, unang gagawin nyo is you need to use a variable to represent a part of this equation. And then, after the transformation, maging quadratic equation, solve for the variable. And then you can use alin sa mga method natin in solving quadratic equations. So let's move on to item number 2. So ito medyo complicated tignan, pero hindi yan ganun kahirap. So I dito, solve the equation 4 times the quantity of x plus 1 half raised to 2 minus 5 times x plus 1 half minus 3 is equal to 0. As you can see, the exponent of this equation is 2. Pero mukha lang siya complicated. Ang gagawin natin ngayon dito is papasimplihin natin yung ating quadratic equation. Ito yung na-observe ko dito. Yung nasa loob ng parenthesis natin ay pare-parehas. We have x plus 1 half. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, we will use the same letter or, sige, gamitin natin ibang letter naman. We will let a be equal to x plus 1 over 2. So, yun yung magiging replacement ng x plus 1 over 2. So, right in this equation, magiging 4 times a squared minus 5a minus 3 is equal to 0. Yun yung panibagong quadratic equation natin. Kung mapansin nyo, mas pinasimple natin. And then, we will do factoring. Yun yung choice ko ngayon. Ang factors nito, we can factor out this one as... 2a plus 3 times 2a minus 1 is equal to 0. And then, using zero product property, we will equate the two factors by 0. We have 2a plus 3 is equal to 0. And then, the other one will be 2a minus 1 is equal to 0. Then, solve for a. So, we have 2a is equal to negative 3 divided by 2. We have a is equal to negative 3 over 2. And then, on the other side, we have 2a is equal to 1. Transpose natin. Divided by 2. Cancel. You have your a be equal to 1 half. And going back with our first process, puntahan natin to, we let a as x plus 1 half. So we can substitute x plus 1 half to our a. Gawin natin itong x plus 1 half is equal to negative 3 over 2. So solve for x tayo. Makuha natin ngayon ay x is equal to negative 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2. Since parasyo ka ng denominator, this is equal to negative 4 over 2, or your x is equal to negative 2. This is the value of x. And then on the other side, we will let a be lang x plus 1 half be equal to 1 half. And then, transpose natin sa kabila, your x is equal to 1 half minus 1 half. Magiging negative yan. So, we have your x is equal to 0. So, ano nga yung magiging implication nito? Ang pwede nyo magiging answer dito, the solution set is negative 2, 0. That's it. Okay? May question po ba tayo? So, kung meron kayong question about the solution, pwede nyo kayong mag-comment down below para masagot natin. So, let's move on with our last part of the equation. Okay. This time, 
I will allow, allow you to answer this one. Ang recommendation ko is post nyo muna yung video. Okay? And take at least 5 minutes or 3 minutes in solving this one. Gamit yung ating process. We have here. Post muna natin. Okay, start muna ako. Solve the equation y to the 4th power minus 13y squared plus 36 is equal to 0. First step. Let u be equal to y squared. Iyon naman ang gagamitin ko ulit. So, pag dinwrite natin yung ating equation, that will be u squared minus 13. Ah, sorry. This is u plus 36 is equal to 0. Huwag agad natin isipin na ito ay perfect square trinomial. Kasi yung middle term niya, kapag kung ito ay magiging 6, dapat negative 12 to ka. So, ito ay 13. So, hindi, hindi yan perfect square trinomial. But I will use factoring. Factors nito is, gawa tayong parenthesis, u, u. Factors ng negative 30, ng 36 na magiging sum ay negative 13. I think that is negative 9 and negative 4. Because negative 9 times negative 4, that is positive 36. Negative 9 plus negative 4 is negative 13. Is equal to 0. So solve for u. Equate natin yung equation natin gamit yung zero product property. We have u minus 9 is equal to 0. And then on the other side, we have u minus 4 is equal to 0. Transpose natin si negative 9. We have u is equal to 9. Sa kabila naman, transpose natin si negative 4. That will be positive 4. You have u is equal to 4. And then balikan natin, remember that we have u is equal to y squared. Ibig sabihin, itong u na to can be replaced as y squared. So we have y squared is equal to 9. And then, gamit yung, or kagaya ng ginawa natin sa first example, we can extract the roots. Square root of y squared is y. And then, the square root of 9 is positive negative 3. Tama? Okay, tama. And then, ito naman, palitan din natin ng y squared is equal to 4. Get the square root. So, you have your y is equal to positive negative 2. So, we are done with the values of y or the roots of this equation. I-summarize na lang natin yung answer natin. We have the solution set is positive negative 2 and positive negative 3. Kalimitan, kung ma-observe nyo, kapag ang exponent ng ating equation is sa fourth power, ang usual dito or lagi, ang nakukuha natin value ng x or roots ng equation ay apat. So, we have here positive, negative 2, positive 2, negative 2, positive 3, negative 3, apat yon And sa so number 1 natin, as you can see, you also have four different roots. We have positive 1, negative 1, positive 2, and negative 2. I hope na natutunan nyo yung ating method on how to solve equations transformable to quadratic equations. Kung meron kayong ma-requested video or topic, mag-comment lang kayo. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Salamat!